get frequent comments that say, religion is evil, abolish religion, and I wholeheartedly disagree. For one thing, the differences between religion, philosophy, culture, and spirituality are nebulous, so it would be impossible to abolish religion without abolishing thought. Creating these ideas is just how our brains work. But the more important point is that most people who say this to me have little experience with religion outside the capitalist system of white patriarchal Christianity. The principles of Christianity that move us to say this are not shared by all religions. Sure, I'll give you the point that all mainstream religions have been used at some point for bad, but that says more about humans than it does about religion. As Christians, we grew up being taught that what you believe is most important. Jeffrey Dahmer gave his life to Jesus, so he doesn't have to do anything more to get eternal reward in the afterlife. Gross. Orthodoxy is supreme in Christianity. Hold the right belief and you're fine for eternity. It's a get out of jail free card so you get to say harmful, hateful things, pass harmful, hateful laws, and maintain the self-delusion that you have the moral upper ground. It's refusing to take accountability for your actions. I, as a polytheistic, pantheistic witch, wholeheartedly disagree, and so do practitioners of Judaism. And I'm guessing most deconstructing ex-Christians do as well. Orthopraxy, defined as acting in accordance with a set of values is most important to us. Acting within our ethics takes effort, especially when we've made mistakes. It's sweaty, bloody work, and it's the moral way to live. Jewish and Christian people hold as sacred some books and stories that overlap in a Venn diagram, but how they behave toward other human beings is vastly different. Quote, Jews are among the most strongly liberal democratic groups in U.S. politics, end quote. The Jewish viewpoint in and of itself is a firm statement for deconstructing ex-Christians, most of whom are recovering Republicans. We read, sort of, the same stories but came to divergent conclusions about what they mean. 81% of Jewish people accept homosexuality, whereas the churches we come from preach oppressing queer people. 83% of Jewish people believe abortion should be legal in almost all cases, whereas the churches we come from use abortion as a means to power and control. My point is not to judge whether Jewish people believe the right or wrong things, but to show that while Jewish and Christian people supposedly share the same foundational texts, these two groups have contrasting opinions on what that means for living life. Since the books of the Old Testament came from Judaism, who should we trust on how to interpret them?